I'm Tony Tono, Senior Account Executive at Sunstar. Sunstar provides strategic media relations services to investment advisors and mutual fund managers. My clients manage billions of dollars in mutual funds, separate accounts, and ETFs. A big part of what I do is arranging interviews for the most influential financial news outlets. Cable, broadcast, and the biggest names in financial print and online media. Our clients know the value of our services, especially when we host media tours in New York and other financial hubs. Today, we're in New York City with Sean Price, manager of the Touchstone Large Cap Growth Fund. Now, the first stop of the day is the Dow Jones Building and a chat with Market Watch columnist Sam Mamoudi. Well, the, the market's already took such a big shock. Um, these same investors they've made some put I'm sure that they see it as one side, is there a story there or not, but I'm seeing it from the other side. I mean, the recognition is uh, hard to put a figure on. Um, I mean, you're, you're being entrusted with people's money, and uh, them, it, it makes people more comfortable, they recognize you, it gives us business and helps give our clients um, some, some comfort that we are a player in the financial industry. A day-long media tour can be hectic. We have four reporters to meet and they're all over the city. I have to make sure Sean is effectively prepped for our meetings and to get him to where he's supposed to be on time and ready to discuss his investment uh, process. Managers might be in a sweet spot right now, and, and large cap growth especially. I think it's a, a spot in the market that has a good potential to rally right now because... Here we meet with a Dow Jones Newswire reporter for breakfast at a hotel overlooking Ground Zero. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next stop, Times Square. We're going to Reuters to talk to the stocks editor there and some of his team members. Meeting them one on one, I mean, it puts you in tune into, you know, uh, you feel like you're really part of the financial community out there. You're meeting with the people, I mean, you see the names in the papers, you read the stories, but then when you're part of it, it's an entirely different experience. And when you see the benefits of it, ultimately it's always to drive business, and we're seeing that effect. We're heading downtown for a lunch meeting with another longtime business reporter who uses right. financial PR to his benefit. Me. My name is Anthony Masucci. I work at dailyfinance.com. I'm a business journalist. I am doing a column, mostly about technology, little economy stuff every now and then, portfolio manager, fund manager. I would say the pros of having a relationship for, between a reporter and a PR person are you're able to get the information quickly if they know what the information is that you're looking for. And the, and the upside to that, and the best way to pitch a reporter is to have the information short, sweet, to the point. You know, if it's an email, First name, two or three sentences capturing what's going on. Criteria that we use is the so the day-long media tour continues. Clients and journalists finding the value in financial PR. This is Tony Kono in New York.